Hello everyone, welcome to the expert session for Vincial and Thingworks Navigate SSL authentication. My name is Arshad and I am from Thingworks Navigate technical support team. Today's presentation is one piece of our larger series of expert sessions that are designed to bring users of our IoT and AR products up to speed as quickly as possible. These sessions will cover a large set of topics including design, development, deployment, maintenance and tips as well as new capabilities of our software that could benefit you. If you have questions during the presentation, you are more than welcome to type them in our Q&A box. We will be reviewing them live at the end of this presentation. If there is any question that can't be answered live, we will share the answers later along with this session recording. Let's begin with a quick overview of SSL and how SSL authentication works with Thingworks Navigate and Vincial. These are the agenda topics, overview of SSL, crypto system, detailed steps of self-signed certificate creation using Keystore Explorer, Keystore and Trustor, how to configure SSL with Thingworks, SSL in Thingworks Navigate with Vincial authentication using SSL for a secure connection communication between ThingWorks Navigate and Venture. Overview of SSL. What is SSL? SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. It's an encryption technology that was originally created by Netscape in 1990s. SSL creates an encrypted connection between your web server and visitor's web browser, enabling private information to be transmitted without the problems of eavesdropping, data tampering, and message forgery. It is basically a website transported through hypertext transfer protocol that goes through a secure encrypted connection. To enable SSL on a website, you will need to get an SSL certificate that identifies you and then install it in your web server. When a web browser uses an SSL certificate, it usually displays a padlock icon but it may also display a green address bar. Once you have installed an SSL certificate, you can securely access a website by changing URL from HTTP to HTTPS. If SSL is properly deployed, the information transmitted between the web browser and the web server is encrypted and is only seen by the organization that owns the website. So why we use SSL? It encrypts sensitive information. The information we send on internet is passed from computer to computer to reach destination server. Any computer that is in between you and the server can see your credit card numbers, username, passwords, and other sensitive information if they are not encrypted. So when an SSL certificate is used, the information becomes unreadable to everyone except for the server that is intended. It protects from cyber criminals. There are Plenty of vulnerabilities on internet, so SSL becomes necessities. So when configuring an application for SSL, we have two different options. One based on self-signed certificate and other using third-party CA signed trusted certificates. You may use the self-signed certificates in your development or test environment. For production environment, use trusted CA signed third-party certificates. Crypto system overview. A crypto system is the implementation of cryptographic techniques and their accompanying infrastructure to provide information security services. A crypto system is also referred to as a cipher system. There are two types of crypto systems, symmetric and asymmetric. In case of symmetric cryptography, you have a message M that you want to send over to your friend. Your, you encrypt the message with a key and get a cipher text C your friend gets your ciphertext C. He then decrypts the ciphertext using the same key to retrieve message M. In case of asymmetric, we can use one key to encrypt and a related key to decrypt data. We can swap the keys around. This is an example how self-signed certificates can be created using Keystore Explorer. We create a new key store that is using a format dot jks we create a new key pair and we provide the name for the key pair after providing the name we provide the alias and we click on save button 
and it asks for key pair password and later it asks for key store password and you could save it save your key store with .jks extension key store and trust store key store is used to store server certificate cs certificate chain and public and private key pair whenever client requests the server to communicate on ssl the server uses them to serve the ssl certificates to a client trust store used to store third party root certificates or third party server certificates it is used to validate third party certificates while communicating over ssl let's look at an example how key store and trust store functions the client initiates a request to the server the server responds by sending its certificate from the identity store to the client the client validates the server certificate against the trust store configured on the client now the server requests the client to send its certificate the client sends a certificate to the server the server validates the client certificate against the trust store configured on the server how to configure thing works with ssl the certificate should be in the form of key pair that is .jks extension place it under the directory configure your server.xml with key store file as shown in picture restart tomcat this will configure your thing works with ssl ssl in thing works navigate with winchell authentication in winchell we have to create key store and trust store integration runtime must be configured with key store and trust store which will need to be configured with SSL authentication and trusted SSL auth filter. Now let's look at how authentication works between Winchell and Thingworks Navigate using SSL. In Winchell authentication, both Winchell server and Thingworks server authenticate to each other using two-way SSL authentication. Each submit their own certificate which contains their public keys to other other. Then they each check the validity of the submitted certificate against their own trust stores. Thingworks uses trust store file and Winchell uses cabundle.crt as trust store. Let's see how the flow works. User access Thingworks Composer gets redirected to Winchell login page. Username and passwords are validated in Winchell. Winchell presents a certificate to Thingworks. Thingworks verifies the certificate from its trust store. Thingworks presents a certificate from key store to Winchell. Winchell verifies the certificate in its trust store that is when cabundle.crt file. Next, if the Thingworks certificate passes this check, it is again checked within Winchell itself against the trusted SSL auth filter present under web.xml in Winchell. The hostname specified in filter must match the string used for the subject of the Thingworks certificate. Upon successful validation of the certificate, Winchell will finally process the request. This is how two-way SSL authentication works. Now we will see the demo. Let's see the demo. So my Winchell is configured with SSL using self-signed certificate. This is the certificate information for Winchell. My Thingworks is running on HTTP mode. Now I'll start by configuring my Thingworks as SSL. I'll create a key store. Select check yes. Click on OK. I'll click on generate key pair. I'll click OK. I'll click on providing the names. I'll get my host name. You can provide any information on these fields. I'll click on OK. 
it will ask for an alias so I'll give Tomcat for this one click on OK it will ask for password the key pair has generated now I'll save my key pair I provided password for my key store. Now it asked me to save the key store. I'll save it as tomcat.jks. Now my key pair for configuring tomcat as SSL is completed. Now I'll copy this tomcat to my sorry uh, key pair to my Tomcat server. So this is the directory where you can place your Tomcat.jks. Now open the server.xml where you can configure your thing works as SSL. So over here, I'll provide the location for my key store file. So that is conf and the file name is tomcat.jks. I'll provide key store password. Change it. Alias, I have provided tomcat. Password is change it. SSL enabled should be true. I'll save my file and do a restart of Tomcat. I'm restarting my Tomcat. Once my Tomcat is ready, I can log in to ThingWorks Navigate using HTTPS and protocol 84. Sorry, protocol HTTPS and port 8443, and the browser displays the certificates that I have used to configure. This completes the ThingWorks SSL authentication. Now we will proceed with configuring ThingWorks Navigate with eventual authentication. We will start by creating a key store. We will select JKS, click on OK. We'll generate key pair. We will name this as client. After providing the names, click on OK. Provide the password. The password do not match. Make sure you enter the same password for both the fields. Key pair generated successfully. Now we will save it. And I'll save it as PTC nav underscore 
client as it's my client key store. Oh, sorry. Let's. This is will. This will be my key store. So I'll name it as key store dot JKS. So my key store is created. Now I will export this certificate. You can use both the extension dot CER or CRT. So my client certificate is created. Now I'll also uh, get my Tomcat certificate that is server certificate for Thingworks. So I'll open this Tomcat. Provide password. And in the same manner I'll export the certificate. So my Thingworks certificate is exported. Now I'll create a trust store. I've created a key store. Next I'll create trust store. I'll open key store explorer, create JKS, click on OK. And first I'll save it. This will be my trust store. So I'll name it as trust store dot JKS. And into this we need to add Winchell and Thingworks certificate. So I'll go to Winchell and bring the server certificate. So this is the certificate created for Winchell. Now into my trust door, I'll import Winchell certificate first. Sorry, I'll drop, drag and drop it. and click on import will give the alias as WNC click on OK now I will import my Thingwork server certificate into this so I'll drag and drop and click on import and name it as TWX the import is completed successfully. I click on save. I can close the trust door. Now over here itself I'll create ca bundle.crt file for my Apache server. I'll type the name ca hyphen bundle dot crt now I'll open this ca bundle dot crt into notepad file this ca bundle dot crt will have Winchell certificate and Thingwork certificate as the content. So I'll right click Winchell certificate and open it in, open in a notepad file. I'll copy the content of the Winchell certificate and place it in cabundle.crt in the first place. Then I will need my Thingwork server certificate sorry the client certificate that we have created so I'll open my 
ThingWorks client certificate into Notepad. Copy the content of client certificate and place it under CA bundle.crt file. Make sure you remove extra line spacing and save this CA bundle.crt. So my trust store for Winchell is created. Post creating CA bundle.crt file, copy this CA bundle.crt to Winchell location. You can copy the CA bundle.crt file into this location and provide the path for CA bundle.crt under SSLV host con.d and create a file with the name as SSL client auth.con file and provide the location for your CA bundle.crt over here. After providing the path in Apache, you need to update your Winchell web.xml file with the ThingWorks Navigate client certificate subject name. So right click web.xml and open in a notepad file. In web.xml file, search for the filter with named as trusted SSL auth filter and into that auth filter add the init param and into that init param provide your ThingWorks Navigate client certificate subject name. You can get the Navigate certificate subject name from your client certificate in this manner. So open your ThingWorks Navigate client certificate in Keytool Explorer. So you can get the subject name from the Key Store Explorer. Copy this in this format and add it into this location. So I'll update this value with my client subject name. After saving this file, next step is to update your Winchell Java with ThingWorks certificates. Let's go to Winchell folder and open Java JRE lib security and I have already copied a JSE search file, a copy from my CS search, and I'll draw, drag and drop, sorry, and drag and drop it to my CA bundle.crt file. After opening this, let's navigate to the certificate folder and so my Winchell certificate is already in there. I'll have to place my ThingWorks certificate alias TWX and client certificate into Java key store. Sorry, my mouse is having some problems. So I'm importing my client certificate into this. Once the import is successful under Java JSCC asserts, you can save the 
key store file. The same way we will update our Thingworks Java with both the certificates. So I'll go to Thingworks Java and import the certificates. Here I can use the CA certs as well. So I'll open my Key Store Explorer, drag and drop the CA cert. And I'll navigate to my certificate files. And in Thingworks Java, I should be having my Winchell and Thingworks certificate. So I already have Winchell. So I'll import Thingworks certificate. and client certificate. Now, since I have imported all the certificates and configured the certificates on Thingworks and Venture both, I'll now run my Thingworks Configurator to configure Thingworks Navigate with Venture Authentication. You can find the Thingworks Authenticator under your Navigate Configurator folder. I'll run this tool. The tools open. I'll click on Next. It's asking to get ready to configure. I'll provide provide path for my Thingworks Navigate. It should be your Thingworks nav Navigate directory. I'll click on Next. It will restart Tomcat. It will ask for application key. You can get the application key from your Thingworks application keys. Looks like my Thingworks is not running and I have already pre-copied my application key from previous configuration. So I'll use that application key and click on next. Here it will ask what type of authentication you want to configure. So I'll select virtual authentication and hit on next. Next. So it will ask for virtual URL. I'll go to virtual and take the URL from here. Make sure it includes your protocol and if there is any specific ports then port and the web app name. I'll click on next. Now it will ask for the key store and trust store. So I'll go to my key store and trust store and first it needs the key store file. So I'll give the key store file the password Next, the trust store password. I'll click on next, and it's ready to configure the virtual authentication. 
after completion it will give the success message that ThingWorks Navigate is successfully configured. Once the configuration is completed I'll restart my windshield and Apache server. Windshield is now started. Now I'll log in to my ThingWorks server using WC admin to see if it is configured correctly. I'll use HTTPS and protocol 8443 and due to this is self-signed certificate so it's giving me this message. Now I'll use WC admin username and password as you can see, I have now been redirected to Winchell for authentication. I'll click on sign in. I get the agreement message. I am now logged in as WC admin. Since WC admin is a normal user, I'll again log in as administrator and make WC admin as administrator in ThingWorks. Now I will log in as administrator. When you log in as administrator use administrator as username and password as WC admin. I am logged in as administrator and now I'll make my WC admin as administrators as well. I'll go to administrators group, click on manage members, click on edit and I can see my WC admin user over here and drag him drop, drag and drop him to the right and save him. Now my WC admin is administrator user. Also, I need to add my WC admin to my navigate view named group. I'll search for navigate view named group and add my WC admin user into that group. Do that again, drag and drop and save it. Now I'll log out and log in again as WC admin. WC I'm logged in as WC admin. Now I'll go to navigate landing page and search for object this is an OTB object present in virtual by default so I search for that object and it is searching you can see the results now 